Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to apply for Divergency Visa 2025 online. Of course, the Divergency uh, Visa program, also known as the Green Card Lottery, provides an opportunity to, for individuals from countries with low rate of immigration to the United States to apply for a chance to obtain a U.S. permanent residence visa. So in this guide, we'll We'll show you how to do so. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will have to check eligibility. Before applying, ensure that you meet the eligibility criteria for the diversity visa, visa program. The US Department of State provides a list of eligible countries and other requirements. So make sure you qualify before proceeding. Then you'll have to access the electronic diversity visa EDV website. So to do so, of course, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, in my case is going to be Brave. Of course, for you, you can open whatever browser you want. Once you open that browser, as you said, we'll have to visit the official websites of the electronic diversity visa. So you can type EDV or you can type it like electronic diversity visa and of course make sure to click on this first link which is electronic diversity visa so you can see electronic diversity visa program thank you the entry period for uh, diversity visa 2025 between 4th october and 7th november and as you can see the time has ended entries are not being accepted at this time so basically you will not be able to apply anymore but of course, I'll still give you some info if you want to apply for the next year. As you can see, the last date was 7th of October, of uh, November. And let's clear those. And as you can see, now we are on the 12th. So we will not be able to apply at the moment, at this moment. But I will, as I said, I'll still give you infor uh, information. So let's start by eligibility. You would like to have, as you can see, U.S. immigration law and regulation required that every DV entrance must have at least a high school education or its equivalent, equivalent or have two years of work experience within the past five years in an occupation that's required at least two years of training or experience. So basically, and maybe in the next year, make sure to for you access this website on the right time and complete the entry form which is going to be DS like 5501, I guess. And once the eDev, of course, website locates and completes the online entry form, known as the DS5501, as I told you, make sure to provide accurate and truthful information as required, including personal details, education, and a recent photograph. So make sure for you to follow the guidelines for uploading a recent passport site, of course, uh, of yourself and each family member included in the application and ensure that the photo meets the specified uh, requirements to avoid any issues with the application. After submitting the entry form, you will receive a confirmation number and keep this number and in a safe place as it is essential for checking the status of your application later. Of course, once you have submitted the entry form, save and print the confirmation page that includes your photo and the in, uh, unique informations or confirmation number this page of course serves as proof that you have successfully entered the dv lottery after the uh, uh, designated of course period typically several months uh, check the status of uh, your entry on the edv website using your confirmation number and the u.s department of state will announce the results online and you can check if you have been selected so if you are selected, you'll have to follow the instructions provided by the EDV websites to proceed uh, with the visa application process. And this may involve additional forms, fees, and an interview with at the US embassy or cons consul or consultants or consul or consulatory. And of course, if you already done this and you get accepted, congratulations on compiling the online application for the Diversity Visa in 2023 program, or sorry, 2025 program. Remember to follow all the instructions provided by the US Department of State throughout the process. And we wish you best of luck on this DV lottery. And of course, if you don't get accepted, you can always try in the next year. There's 
nothing can stop you from trying next year as an example so as an example if you didn't catch the time this year, the year you can try next year if you didn't accept it this year you can try next year so never give up and as we said never back down never what well, never give up so don't give up if you want to really get this visa and just as some additional formations, I look something on Reddit, and as you can see, DV2025 selection does not guarantee a green card. Just keep that in mind. Hello, everyone. As you can see, if you're interested in the DV2025 lottery, I would like just to remind you that uh, being selected is not a guarantee of a visa or interview. I am a selectee from DV2023. As you can see, this is uh, from DV2023. Uh, and my case number currently in July 1, uh, July, not 1, this is, I applied for adjustment of course of status and two days prior or to my interview. They have exhausted all available diversity visas and my first failing uh, was erroneously rejected by the USCIS, I actually don't know what that is, lockbox. So uh, they also did not refund my US uh, CIS application fee nor the DV visa fee. This does not discourage you from applying to the DV lottery, but I just like to warn that don't make any plans or rely on the DV selection until your card is on your hand. And he is very very right. Don't rely everything on this visa on this visa visa don't stop your plans don't stop your life for this visa and make plans everything on this visa always have a plan b so make sure that you have always another plan of course like let's see what's the other guys seen here so as the title says i'm looking to enter like this one is just trying to enter it so here's the question through i'm born in singapore and meet all the requirements for me to enter the dv lottery have equivalent equal, equivalent educational like or education level guaranteed with bachelor from sony currently an opt on my job so might ask for sponsorship sponsorship soon uh, for h1b too. so however my parents currently country of birth is nepal from what i know nepal has so much applicants and little gets selected so has fewer probability i guess historically singapore applicants are much lesser and also have way, way lesser selected applicants but when i did the overall math singapore has high chance of probability of getting selected over nepal so can someone help me get advice into this so this guy is just asking if he wants to, because uh, he if he wants to start the application from as a Nepalian or as as he's from Nepal or as he's from Singapore. As you can see, I might be wrong and would like some second opinion. So of course the application depends from uh, wherever you are, because every country has some probabilities. Because like depending on uh, how much people are applying they give them uh, or and how much spaces are they so just keep that in mind make some research and you'll be good to go so of course if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more health stories like this one and i'll see you in the next video